Hello, good evening and welcome to my channel. I'm Lemuel, you can call me Lem. Um, I want to basically um, tell you what particular guitar basically turned me on to the brand Toman Harley Benton. This is the guitar in question. Now everyone is spurred on by an ideology or a dream or an inspiration by somebody. Um, Chuck Berry was the person who turned me on to the Gibson uh, 335. Um, very expensive guitars, if you basically try to order one now, you're probably talking about over three and a half thousand pounds upwards, it depends what type of model or vintage or what, whatever, what year it is. Um, I wanted one, I couldn't basically wait to um, save up the money to get it or go on finance because I basically um, didn't want to go down that route. But um, I saw this advertised, I looked up, looked up various reviews on YouTube and um, I pulled the trigger on this one. I couldn't believe how cheap it was, I think I got it for roughly at the time £160, I couldn't believe it. Um, the only thing I changed on it um, was the Grover style uh, machine heads by Trevor Wilkinson's. Trevor Wilkinson makes quite uh, affordable, good quality components for the guitar. So I've stuck that on. And the tuning stability uh, was improved by 50%, I would say. Very smooth, very progressive, very good. Um, this was actually um, quite well put together. When I got it, there was no flaws on the guitar whatsoever. Um, the fretboard was bound, the, bound. The neck, I don't think it was a uh, a bone or anything like that. I think it looks like a plastic nut or a variation of that. But it was fine. DXL. Um, chrome bridge and tailpiece. It's got uh, push-pull pots which you can split the coil, the humbucker, the front and the rear and the, and the tone. Very progressive. I didn't have no problems whatsoever on this. You can see the binding on the body is well executed. Okay. Um, Let's see, for example, what it says about the specs, so you know what we're dealing with. All right, I'm just going to check on my uh, my phone for the specs, because I don't know. I don't know on the top of my head. Okay, let me type it in. Right, the fretboard is what it's saying on here. Um, fretboard is Power Ferro. I think I've pronounced that correctly. Power Ferro fretboard. It has a 12 inch neck radius. The nut width is 42 millimeters. 42 millimeters. Slightly narrower than narrower than the traditional ES three three five, but elsewhere it's clearly aiming for that classic semi ballpark for the wide appeal. The weight is eight pounds. Let me just check that if that's true. I've got weight 
just outside right? give me a sec According to the specs on here, you never believe everything that us, you, you read, you have to check it out for yourself. It says the weight is eight pounds, but I've just checked it on my scales outside my door. It's actually seven pounds, so it's a very light guitar. Um, average when compared to the 335 when played. Right, okay. Um, it's the same about the pickups. Um, the Hardy Benton HB35 CH Vintage um, has two humbucker style guitars, so they're going to be more Pacific. Um, it's Roswell pickups actually on this. Uh, okay, alright. I'll just go on the actual high, um, tone website to just get the. the right, okay. Um, right, let's go to the basics. I want the actual. Uh, Right, the body is maple, is an arch top, it has a setting Canadian maple, the fretboard is saying on this, completely different, <laughs> this is actually on the Harley Benton site, Amaranth, fretboard is uh, 12 inch, 305 millimetres, dot fretboard, cream binding, 22 frets, the scale length is 628 millimetres and it's saying that the nut lift is 42 millimetres. It has a double action truss rod. It has two vintage style humbuck humbuckers, which is made by Roswell. A uh, three-way selector switch. Tunematic bridge. Whatever. Okay. That's the basics. Yeah. Okay. Um... Right, I'm going to basically uh, go into the uh, shorts and tones of the guitar. Okay. Let's plug her in. I'll be taking through the. Um, my Fender Blues Junior, which is a 30 watt valve amp, sort of standard, nothing's been apart from when I bought it, um, it had new valves fitted to it. Okay, right, the volume's on number two. I'm going to put the treble on number four. The bass is 12 o'clock, the middle's on four. The master volume is just above three, the reverb is just between the three and two, okay? Right, let's start with the, um, the tone volume is gonna be full up. The, uh, turn the volume full up, okay? Start with the neck position. What I've done on this, I want, I've done, obviously, uh, this is the, this is my first Harley Benton guitar and what I wanted to do um, is to experiment with the strings I put some kind of um, flat wound strings like jazz strings on it um, the lightest ones I could possibly find at the time here um, just to see the difference in tone and how it plays uh, it does make a difference okay <laughs> This is the actual um, the neck pickup.
Okay, this is the actual middle position. That's the um, neck and the bridge pick up. basically add a bit of uh, dirt using my uh, um, I'm trying a blues breaker first of all by Marshall as a blues breaker pedal Um, on the clean tones, the when I split the coil, starting from the neck position, without being split ball, just in full humbucker mode. <laughs> Basically, that's a top position of the uh, volume by pushing it up, it splits it to a single coil. <laughs> Sometimes you get with guitars that have got uh, 
um, kind of controls what splits to call. It tends to sound a bit weedy, but this doesn't. That split coil, come back up. Let's go on to the bridge. That's full humbuckers. get some good variations. If you stick it in the middle position, both on humbucker pickups, if you basically split the, the, the actual bridge and leave the back on humbucker, turn down the actual volume, Harley Benton uh, 35 plus with the push pull pots 
the cherry red, the sunburst, um, not sunburst, cherry red. It's supposed to be triple, triple A ma maple, but I, I, I can't see the triple business. You can see it. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But that is, as you can see, um, it, it's a guitar which I'll highly recommend. Um, you know, it's, it's much cheaper than the Gibson ES335, obviously. Um, and it's much, much cheaper, it's less than half the price of a Epiphone uh, equivalent. Um, this, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, this is a guitar which obviously made me um, have a closer look at some of the models in Harley Benton. Okay, that's just, that's it for now. Um, as I said before, I'm going to showcase uh, promised a the Harley Benton um, 450 plus HB single cup version um, for people who can't wait to you know who, who basically wanted a Gibson say classic yeah um, Harley Benton does um, on offering a, a sort of a homage to it okay um, this is the next one I'll be reviewing. Okay, spoiler alert. Beautiful, by the way. Okay, absolutely. Um, you know, the price of a uh, set pickup, so you can get one of these. Okay, all right. That's that's just a short video for now. Um, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for subscribing my channel. Thank you for my faithful followers, followers um, who's been supporting me. Thank you. Thanks for the new ones who subscribe. Much appreciated for welcome aboard. Okay, so I said this, this channel is basically designed for people like minded. It doesn't matter what genre of music you're into, what type of style of guitars you are into. Um, I've got a, a variety of different ones, guitars, what kind of represents different styles of, of guitars, um, which I like to explore. Um, so it doesn't matter what your budget is, if you can afford an expensive boutique guitar, fair play to you. If you can't, but you, you love um, um, guitars in general, um, it's got something for every budget. Um, and I'll tell you what, you know, if I to make some adjustments to it, which I, what, which I will tell you, um, to make that kind of plain experience enjoyable. Have a great day and um, um, look forward, um, just keep an eye on Keep an eye out for my next uploads. All the best. Thank you.